Hi, my name is Cynthia and I'm with North Haven Gardens in Dallas, Texas. Today I'd like to show you how to properly plant a rose bush that has been grown in a biodegradable fiber pot. Before we get started, I'd like to make sure I have my essentials on hand. You'll want to have two, you'll want to have ready rose mix, mulch, expanded chill, and compost for further amending. It's good to have your Epsom salts, the North Haven Gardens organic rose food, a pair of sturdy gauntlet gloves for planting, a high quality pair of pruners such as these Felker pruners. These are a good investment. Um, you'll use them later in the year for rose pruning. You'll want to have a bucket trigger top to soak your rose, and then you'll need to have a root stimulator solution put together. Okay, when choosing a location for your rose, you'll want to pick an area that is relatively level that receives six to eight hours of sun a day, and you'll want to make sure you're not planting too close to any other existing trees or shrubs to ensure proper air circulation. After you've chosen a location, you'll want to remove any rocks, weeds, or grasses from the area, and you'll want to work the soil about 12 to 15 inches down, adding in two one cubic foot bags of the ready rose mix per rose that you plant. After you've amended the area, you're going to want to check the drainage. So you can do the, um, check the drainage by digging a hole that is one foot deep and then pouring water into it. If the water drains in an hour or less, then you have adequate drainage. If not, you're going to want to mix in um, your expanded shale or compost to, um, to improve the drainage in the area. Okay, after you fix that up, you can go ahead and prepare your rows. So what you'll need to do is you're going to want to perforate the sides. You, and I found the easiest way to do that by taking the printers with a sharp point and just literally stabbing and twisting. Okay, so you want to do that all the way around and on the bottom. And then importantly, you'll also need to remove the lip of the pot. The easiest way I found to do that is to cut two incisions on either side, and then you're going to use a pruners just like scissors, and you're going to cut all the way around. So I'll go ahead and just demonstrate right here with this small section. And sometimes it's good just to rip it as well, just to remove it. Alright, after your container is prepared, what you'll want to do is soak it in a bucket and you'll just want to make sure that the uh, root ball is completely saturated before planting. While your rose is soaking, you can go ahead and prepare the hole. So you'll want to dig a hole that's twice as wide as the root ball but no deeper. And a way to check that is by placing the rose into the hole. So I'll go ahead and get it out and you'll want to soak it for an hour or so. This is just for demonstration. So, okay, so I'm gonna put it in the hole and I wanna make sure that the bed union of the graft is at least two inches above the soil line. Um, and if it is, you can go ahead and start backfilling. So, as I backfill, when you reach about uh, one third of the way down, you wanna feel and break up any clods of soil and kinda just lightly pat the soil down and what this will do is ensure um, proper contact with the soil and the fiber pot. Okay, once everything feels pretty good, I'm just going to continue backfilling. Okay. See? Okay, and you're just going to lightly pat it down. Just make sure that you do not see the lip of that pot, but that you haven't covered the bud union with soil. Okay. All right. So what you want to do is go ahead and I would water in with your root stimulator and um, when you're at home doing this, I would want to just make sure the root ball is completely saturated. Okay. And as you water it in, if you notice like any soil dispersing, or if you can see the lip of that pot, you might want to go ahead and add in a little more soil to bring up the soil line. Okay. So, you can see a little bit of that here. All right. If everything looks good, you're gonna to want to add 
an inch of mulch to the surface. Mulching your roses is really point, important, especially during the, for the summertime, so you don't have any, so it reduces the moisture loss. So I'm just gonna try to disperse that evenly around the plant, again, making sure I'm not covering the bud union of the graft. All right, everything looks pretty good. After you have everything in place, you're gonna to wanna to add a tablespoon of the Epsom salts, and you're gonna to wanna to add in your ready, or um, excuse me, you're gonna to wanna to add in your North Haven Gardens organic rose food. And be sure to give your roses one inch of water per week during the growing season. Now it's time to enjoy your own rose garden.